everyone. We are going to start with the basics of Pilates. As I always say, when you start with the basics, you're going through the body. But the most important thing is to set up your back, to set up your body in a correct position. For this class, we need a mat. So if you have a mat, take your mat, place it on the floor. If you don't have a mat, make sure you have something soft on the floor. I'm going to move my camera slightly so you can see me. Make sure you have your water available somewhere on the side. So every time you feel like drinking some water, make sure it's a little sips of water so you don't feel any cramps in the stomach. We are going to work through your core a lot and we're going to go down on the floor. We start with warm up. Look at your feet, place your feet together, heels pushing together towards each other. Take your toes out, 45 degrees. Now you need to find those two bones you have here. Two bones, they're quite strong bones, hip bones. And you're going to measure your hip bones, your knees, and your toes in line. You take your heels up, out, and you have that nice, stable position. And you're going to soften your knees. If you watch position, it's very important you are not locking your knee and pushing your knees back. You slightly soften your knees. You see the difference? It's just a slight bend in your knees. You're looking straight forward and your chin parallel to the floor. So make sure you place your camera somewhere on the cupboard or somewhere higher so you don't need to strain your neck while looking down on the screen. From here, we are going to adjust pelvis. Pelvis position is very important. So you're going to move your pelvis forward and back. Because not only first time, we are going to go a little bit faster today because you've done it before. So you're moving your pelvis just to adjust your pelvis. It's not forward, it's not back, it's in the middle. From this position, while your pelvis is in the middle, we are going to relax your arms, stretching yourself up towards the ceiling, breathe in through your nose, and out, out through your mouth, very slowly. Breathe in, and out. We are going to tighten up your belt around your waist while you're breathing. Breathe in through your nose, and when you breathe out, you tighten up your belt to the third hole in your belt. Think about 10 holes, 100%, right? And you go to the third hole, so it's only 30%. Imagine you have trousers three sizes smaller, so you're keeping that tight around your waist. And one more thing we need to remember, it's your pelvic floor muscle engagement. On the bottom of your pelvis, you're pulling your pelvic floor muscle up and you hold it there also 30%. So you hold, pull, and hold. And from here, we're going to start straight away. We start with your shoulders. You're going to breathe in and going up with your shoulders towards your ears and slowly down. Breathe in, slowly going up with your shoulders and down. When I stop moving and I keep talking, you're going to carry on till we change the movement. Breathe in and out. Keep breathing in and out. Increasing range of movement. If you don't have frozen shoulders and you're all right with your upper back, you're increasing range of movement and going high up towards the shoulders. <coughs> Bless me. It was quite cold in the morning, so I was freezing. Breathe in and out. From here, you're going to lift your hands up towards the shoulders, and this time around, you're going to increase range of movement. You're going to lift your elbows up towards your head, place your hands between your shoulder blades, and slowly down. Breathe in, arms close towards your head, and slowly down. And we keep going up and down, nice and slow.
keep going up and down what we're trying to do here we're trying to mobilize your shoulders from every possible angle so if you feel any pain any injuries you can decrease range of movement and go a little bit lower so halfway next week you will be here so after a couple of weeks you will be higher and higher so you're slowly improving on your mobility of your joints breathe in when you go up and breathe out when you go down from here you're going to place your hands all the way to shoulder level so your elbows shoulder level squeeze between the shoulder blades and slowly breathe in and slowly breathe out breathe in squeeze between shoulder blades and slowly forward and keep going breathe in and breathe out we keep moving trying to keep your elbows up to shoulder level in this one we're also activating your upper back so you're squeezing between shoulder blades and activating your upper back take your time breathe in and breathe out from here we're going to squeeze between shoulder blades take your arms out and when you breathe out you move forward breathe in squeeze between shoulder blades and breathe out you move forward mobilizing your spine forward and back moving forward looking at your belly button and when you go back you're squeezing between shoulder blades moving forward and back when you're going forward you're going to tuck your chin down looking at your belly button every time you're going forward from here you're going to take your arms out and this time around you're going to take right arm up all the way up towards your ear slowly go to the side come back to the middle and slowly down other arm going up we're going all the way down 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 as low as possible slowly straight up tighten up your belt around your waist and slowly down breathe in extend your arm close towards your head slowly going to the side come back up in a straight line and down so when we're going up you keep your hand close towards your head and the whole upper body going down very slowly slowly up and slowly down you're going to breathe in slowly breathe out come back up breathe in and slowly breathe out four movements one then you're going down two then you go up three and slowly down four and again breathe in breathe in and breathe out breathe in when you go up breathe out when you go to the side breathe in when you're stretching yourself up towards the ceiling and slowly down and we keep going you keep breathing throughout breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth we keep breathing keep moving from here we are going to think about someone pulling you up towards the ceiling and what you're going to do you're going to breathe in bring your arms up close towards your head and this time around you're going to activate your upper back and we are going to push your arms as far back as possible without changing position of your body so your body doesn't change position so you soften your knees you have your pelvis in neutral position breathe in and slowly push your arms breathe out and we're going to multitask you're going to breathe in extend your arms shoulders down and when you breathe out you're going to look to your right mobilizing and your neck breathe in and slowly push and look to your left tighten up your belt so keeping your belt around your waist belly button towards your spine breathe in extend your arms and breathe out going to your right Take your time, breathe in. It doesn't matter which way you're going first, you can go to your left or to your right, up to you. 
As long as you do one right, one left, it's all equal, all right? Keep going, pushing back, breathing in and out. Tighten up your belt even more to protect your back. And again. And pushing back. And relax. Nice one, roll your shoulders to relax. Now we're going to work on your hip flexes, on your knees and your ankles. You're going to take your feet with your heels together and take your toes 45 degrees. You're going to imagine you have tangerine between your inner thigh and you're going to release your tangerine on the way out with your knees. So your tangerine is here and you're keeping that tangerine, squeezing tangerine on the way up. So you're going to place your hands in front like you're holding a nice big ball in front of you. You're pushing your heels close together. You're going to breathe in. You're wor working through your calf muscle, pushing your knees out towards your third toe and slowly up. Squeeze tangerine and activate your glutes. Glutes are connected to your back. So if you have stronger glutes, less pain in your back. Breathe out and squeeze tangerine. And again, squeezing tangerine every time you're going up and squeeze your glutes. And again, pushing your knees out and squeezing tangerine, as well as your glutes. Don't forget, it's two movements, tangerine, squeezing between your thighs and also your glutes. We're activating your glutes. We keep breathing and keep squeezing. If you feel quite tight around your Achilles and your calves, you do not need to force it. Just do very gentle movement down in a straight line. We are not going forward. We're keeping yourself upright. Very good. We keep going slowly down and slowly up. Squeezing your glutes on the way up. Activating your inner thigh at the same time and keeping your shoulders down, looking straight forward and smiling. Very good. And of course, breathing, not just smiling, but just breathing at the same time. And relax. How does it feel? Nice, right? If you have quite tight calves and Achilles, this exercise just moves a little bit more, stretch it out and also work on your Achilles a little bit more. So what we're going to do now, we're going to move through your glutes, activate your core as well to support your back. We're going to breathe in, you're going to squeeze your glutes, extend your legs for this one, reaching up towards the ceiling as high as possible, pushing away through the floor and slowly down. So you're lifting with your heel up and slowly down. Breathe in when you go up and slowly down. And we keep going, breathe in, push away through the floor. So when you lift and you feel out of balance, you can practice at home to hold the wall, lift, squeeze your glutes, extend your leg as you can see my legs are extended and slowly down till you get stronger in your legs, till you get stronger in your legs and your feet pushing with your heels up that's important and when you are comfortable with your balance you can do it in the middle you keep going up and slowly down take your time up and slowly down and again up and slowly down last one and relax. Roll your shoulders a couple of times and we're going to go on one side of your mat. Make sure you have a mat or something soft. You're going to start with set up position, soften your knees and we're going to mobilize your spine. You're going to look straight forward. This is my favorite. You can really feel when you're separating each vertebra out of your spine. And if you have any trapped nerve, you might feel better after this one. You're going to breathe in 
And then you breathe out, you imagine you're standing close to the wall behind you. You're going to start with your head, separating each vertebra of your spine. Start with your head going down, rolling and bending yourself slowly going down, looking at your belly button all the way through. And when you reach your coccyx bone, this is the last bone in your spine, you're slowly rolling yourself back up. Remember to soften your knees and look at your belly button when you're going up and when you're upright, you're looking straight forward. And we do it again. Breathe in, you're going to tuck your chin first. Look at your belly button and then start with your head, rolling yourself down, still looking at your belly button, rolling, separating each vertebra of your spine from the wall behind you. And when you reach your coccyx bone, Coxie bone is just there, just last bone in your spine. You're rolling yourself back up. Very slowly. With one breath out, you're going to go all the way down. Breathe out, all the way down. Looking at your belly button. And slowly up. With one breath in, you're going all the way up. So you don't go too slow and don't keep it there. So you're continuously moving. As soon as you reached the last bone in your spine, you're going back up straight away. And we keep breathing in and out. We're going to do last one. And when you're doing last one, in your own time, you're going to touch the floor and walk forward. A couple of steps forward with your hands into the nice table top position. So if I put glass of water on my back, it's not going to drop right how do i know it so when you when you are like this when your back is rounded it's more possibility your glass of water will drop right so what you need to do remember how we done pelvis forward and back so here you also need to adjust your pelvis in a neutral position so it's not down you see and it's not up you see the difference it's in the middle so it's not down up in the middle and you need to make sure your belly button going towards your spine. So you're going to check your hands now. Very important. Shoulder, elbow, under. You're not here. You're not there. So you are shoulder, elbow, under. We are going to breathe in. And when you breathe in, you're going to extend your right arm and left leg at the same time, parallel to the floor. Point your toes. I want your toes also stretching as much as possible. And your hand close towards your head and slowly down breathe out you reach up extend your arm and leg make sure it's opposite now arm and leg and slowly down and you keep going extending your arm and leg engaging your core and slowly down breathe in extend and slowly down and you keep going extending as much as possible if you struggle to lift your arm and leg because you have injury in your back and it's hurting, the best way to start is to glide through the floor. If you are injured, you glide and really keep that core strong till it gets stronger and better with your injury. That's a very good one. So if you're losing balance and you feel pain in your back, do not go high, just go glide through the floor to make sure your core is engaged. I still feel in my core. You need to feel engagement in your core and your belly button really, really working hard. And make sure you don't look forward. You're looking down to protect your neck. And relax. The way how we're going to relax, we're going to take your knees slightly apart, place your toes a little bit closer together, and you're going to push your hips down towards your heels. If you can, your, your hips going to touch your heels. You're going to extend your arms and you're going to stretch. Hold it here. Keep breathing and keep holding. From here, we're going back to the tabletop, 90 degrees angle, 
right? I'm going to breathe in. You're going to think about very tight trousers. You're going to tuck your chin towards the chest, belly button in, pushing your chin towards the chest. Look at your belly button around your back, around your back even more. Push away through the floor and you're going to stretch across your spine. So you're rounding your back. We call it cat stretch. So cat does a lot of that. So that's why it's called cat stretch. Looking at your belly button, stretching across your spine. And relax. From here, we are going to go lower down on your front to work through your back. You're going to go down on the floor, bend, extend your legs. Everyone can see me, right? You're going to extend your arms. And it's very important, we are going to start slow. And when we start slow, I'm going to give you two options and you just follow my instructions. You're going to start with your head looking down. If you watch me, I am not going to go forward with my head because I will feel a lot of tension in my neck. What we are going to do, we are going to keep your neck in nice long position as a continuation of your back. So you're looking down, you're going to lift opposite arm and leg like you've done before, your right arm with your left leg, slowly down, and then you swap. Make sure your hip bones staying in the same position, you're not moving your hips. You're going to go, breathe out, squeeze your glutes, extend your leg as much as possible, and slow it down. Breathe out, and breathe in. So you're activating, your glutes by squeezing on the way up and looking down. We're still looking down towards the floor, extending separate to so make sure it's your right arm, left leg, opposite leg and arm. Extending more. That's option one. And if you want to go for a little swim, you're going to go like this. One, two, three, four, five, breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, breathe out. And we keep moving and we keep moving looking down and keep breathing swimming keep swimming so when you do it keep going you can choose the option the slow version when you do it make sure your hands are very small movements and your legs also extended like you are swimming so you're not floppy you're really working let's do it keep going keep breathing Still there, still extending the legs and your arms. Keep going. And relax. How was it? Hard work, right? Have a little break. Place your forehead onto your hands and relax. Let's do it again. Are you ready for second set? Extend your arms, extend your legs. And remember, if you cannot go fast, you can do one leg at a time, very slow. That's option one. Choose your option, ready, let's go for a swim. Looking down, remember, keeping your shoulders down, keeping your hands close towards your head, point your toes as much as possible. Keeping your belly button in. So many things to think about. And relax. How does it feel? Very good. Now, from here, we're going to place your hands close towards your chest, engage your core and push yourself up. The reason I'm going to push yourself up is you're going to turn around to work on your core a little bit more. Right? So you're going to go down. I will give you options. If you have any injuries, do not worry. I'm going to give you options. What we do, we have two options. If you are in, just travel down and you're gliding and supporting yourself through your, through your back of your leg, just holding, holding and rolling yourself down. If you want a challenge, you extend your arms. Start with your coccyx bone. That's the last bone in your spine. You're going to start with the coccyx bone round your back, around your waist, 
and slowly, vertebra by vertebra, slowly placing yourself down, engaging your core. Remember that tight belt around your waist, still there, and relax on the floor. When you are laying down, and if you feel a lot of tension in your shoulders, you can place a little towel just under your head so you feel more relaxed. From here, you're going to bring your feet closer, engaging your core still, and you're going to lift your right leg 90 degrees angle. 90 degrees, you can see my knee and my hip bone under and same with your left and keep your feet up, apart so you don't join your feet together you keep your knees and your hips under hip bones under from here you have two options if you are injured remember to push your lower back towards the floor you touch your leg with your toes on the floor and come back up 90 degrees angle and slowly do the same with your left keeping your lower back remember about lower back in the same position that's option one if you are okay to go a little bit further you can extend your leg and go all the way down almost touching the floor keeping your lower back in the same position and swap the leg and we keep going we keep going up and down Remember to keep right angle under your knee. Keep going. And you keep breathing, pushing your lower back towards the floor to support your back. So if you, have, you want to get stronger, so keep your abs in and keep your lower back so you're not arching the back. There is no gap between your waist and the floor so you push it down and really working through your core extending your leg as much as possible and remember what i said if you have injuries you just bend your knee and keep it in the set position and touch the floor with your toes that's for those who have injury pushing your lower back down working through your lower abs And we keep breathing. And relax. Bend your knees, pull your knees towards the chest and hold. Relax, breathe in and out. From here, we're going to place your feet down on the floor, keeping your knees and your hip bones in line as well as your, your feet. Yes, don't put your feet together. Keep in that setup position. Breathe in. You're going to bring your arms over your head, close towards your head, all the way down on the floor. And then you breathe out. You're going to tuck your chin, lift yourself up. Make sure you start your movement from, from your abs, going towards your ankles and slowly down breathe in and slowly up breathe out and again breathe in and slowly up when you go up every time you're going up you're trying to relax your neck and start the movement from your abs relaxing your neck as much as possible very often when we do ab work any cool work People struggle and feel a lot of tension in the neck. The reason that why they feel tension is because the first movement they do is the neck movement. But if you try to move from your core, you will feel more relaxed in your neck. Try it. So instead of lifting yourself with the neck and arms, helping yourself with the arms and neck, try the first muscle you feel when you go up it's your core and you will feel more relaxed in your neck. Try it and see the difference. Take your time, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in 
and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And keep breathing through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in and breathe out. Take your time. And relax. Extend your arms over your head and have a little break. From here, we're going back to your lower abs. We're going to bend your knees again, 90 degrees angle, like before. But this time around, it will be a circular movement. Imagine you're on a bike. If you have any injuries, watch me. I'm on a bike, but my, I keep my feet quite high. For those who are not injured and want to improve a little bit in your, in your core and to support your back. So stronger core, less pain in your back, stronger back, right? So what you do, you're going to do circular movements. Go as low as possible. Make sure it's not something like this. Not a little wiggle, wiggle, right? You extend as much as possible, keeping your leg extend and lower down towards the floor. For any injuries, keep it more up till you get stronger. Make sure one leg is straight, you see? Straight, another leg going towards the chest in a circular movement. And you keep going. You keep going, you keep moving, lower down towards the floor. Very good. Working on, on your lower abs. Extending the leg as much as possible. And relax. Well done. Stretch. Pull your knees towards the chest. From here, we're going to extend your left leg. Pull your right towards the chest. And you move your right foot up and down. Trying to extend your left as much as possible and trying to pull your right towards the chest at the same time. From here, you're going to go circle to your right with your right foot and then circle to your left. When you're ready, you're going to extend your right leg as straight as possible and you, you, if you really struggle with the stretching, your legs completely straight, what you can do, you can bend your left leg on the floor. And slowly breathe in, reaching with your hands a little bit high up towards your ankle and gently pull your right leg towards the chest. And we keep breathing. If it feels too tight and it feels a lot of pain in your back, you can bend your knee and do it this way just a little bit more bent in your leg but you're still stretching so that depends on your flexibility breathe in and out and we keep breathing and then you're ready you pull slightly more towards your chest stretching on the back of your leg keep breathing Trying to relax and keep breathing. And then you're ready while you're breathing, you're pulling more towards your chest. Remember, you can bend your left or you can bend your right and pull towards your chest. When you're ready, you relax. And we're going to swap your leg. How does it feel? It feels nice, right? When you stretch and you're really releasing, not only your stretching your legs, but also releasing um, your back because it's all connected, right? So you extend your left, choose your option, breathe in, and then you breathe out, gently pull towards the chest, choose the options. If you have any pain, you can bend your right, extend your left, or you can extend your right, bend your left slightly more, and you're stretching from here. And you will realize if you do it every week, you will get more flexible. And by the Christmas, you're going to sit in a split position, right? That's our New Year resolution. As I always say, New Year resolution doesn't start after New Year. 
it starts just before Christmas, starts now. Breathe in and out. Keep breathing. And relax your left. Pull your left towards the chest. Just give your left a nice movement through your toes up and down. Just do a nice couple of circles to the right and a couple of circles to the left. From here we're going to stretch across your spine this one is very very good one so you take your hands out I do not have space on my left side so you need to extend your arms you're going to move your knees to the right keeping your shoulder blades towards the floor keeping your shoulders and your hands glued on the floor and your head to your left move your knees to the right head to the left keeping your arms on the floor. Breathe in and out. Stretching across your spine, trying to move your knees closer towards the floor. And when you're ready, you swap and you're going with your knees to the left and your head to your right. And as you can see me, make sure you're not going with the shoulder blades, trying to glue your shoulder blades and glue your arms on the floor, both arms glued on the floor. In such a way, you have a nice spinal stretch. And relax. Now we're going to go in the middle. And we're going to work a little bit more through the glutes. So you're going to engage your core, tighten up your belt. You're going to breathe in, push away through the heels. Start to lifting from your, your hips, from your pelvis, slowly pushing away from the floor, lifting yourself as high as possible. Check your hip bones in line and make sure you're separating each vertebra of your spine, squeezing your glutes on the way up. And when you're ready, slowly rolling yourself down, separating each vertebra of your spine. Take your time, your tailbone or coccyx bone, we call it tailbone, coccyx bone, it's the last. You start with the tailbone, you're slowly rolling yourself up, squeezing your glutes on the way up, pushing away through your heels on the floor as high as possible, squeeze your glutes, engage your core, tighten up your belt, and very slowly roll yourself down. Take your time. Your pelvis is last. And do it again. Step by step. Start with your pelvis. Lift yourself up. Squeeze your glutes. Activate your glutes. Slowly going up. Going as high as possible. And when you're ready, slowly down. And we do it again, squeezing on the way up, pushing away through your heels and very slowly tighten up your belt to protect your back, tighten up, tighten up, even more, even more. Very good. And let's do one more time, one more. Pushing away, squeezing your glutes, activating your abs, and slowly down. Now from here you're going to have two options. Option one, if you don't have any injury, you engage your core, tighten up your belt, breathe in, deep breathe in, and breathe out. If you are injured, we are not going to do that. You're going to roll on one side and push yourself up. Choose the option, right? And make sure you listen to your body. It's not about, I am strong, I can do it. No, it's about listening to the body and when you are recovering from injury, it's very important to take my advice 
and use options. It's the best way to get back on track, right? So you're coming back onto your knees. Again, we're going to push away through the floor just to relax your back, looking at your belly button, stretching through the spine and your belly button going towards the spine even more. You're coming back to neutral position, transfer your weight, your heels going down on the floor, and then you touch the floor with the heels, you slowly roll yourself up. Take your time when you're doing it. Rolling like we've done before. You're going to roll your shoulders a couple of times, walk in the middle of your mat. When you're ready, you're going to breathe in, extending your arms, up and breathe out, relax. Breathe in, reaching up towards the ceiling and breathe out. And last one, breathe in through your nose and breathe out. Last one, you're going to go only with your hands, shoulders down, roll your shoulders, tighten up your belt, right? Relax your shoulders, nice long neck, and this is how we're walking out from your house if you're going out today, or even if you aren't working from home. That's how you're going to work, not like this, but chest up. That's you sitting near the computer now, right? After my class. Thank you very much for coming today. Mm -hmm.